Hello YouTube, how's it going? Now I've just done a ranty video about an eBay purchase that's just come through my door um, because it wasn't exactly what it said it was or at least it wasn't in the condition it said it was um, so I did this like 10 minute video moaning about that and moaning about eBay in general and moaning about second hand toys I mean I'll show you what I got I've got a lovely Armada Megatron which is missing bits but I'm, like the, the seller stated that but I just wanted him for the tank which ah, I quite really like that um, but and this is what I, this is, it was two things, and this was a second thing. This is what I really wanted. Animated Lugnut. I've wanted him for a while. Um, and it's come and it's broken because it wasn't packaged properly, and there's bits missing that weren't stated in the auction, and it's just become a real disappointment. So I did a, a ranty video, effing and jeffing about that, and just buying second hand on eBay in general. But do you know what? I didn't want to upload a negative video that's just 10 minutes of a fat Scottish guy saying, My toy's not right. So I did it, I deleted it, and I thought I'd do another video because it's a video I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, ever well, a while, a couple of months. Ever since I got these two figures, because these both, I mean, I had no idea who this was. I had a vague sort of, I'd seen a G1 toy of this, like in pictures and in passing and stuff. But they weren't really characters I knew, and I was like, well, I'll just buy them because they're in the shop and whatever. And I kind of was like, Ugh, I'm just buying repaints because it's just they're there. But these are actually very lovely toys, in both design, well, colour-wise, because of the exact same as their, as their counterparts, uh, apart from their head sculpts, obviously, um, and also in quality. A lot of people have been saying that they never brought him because he was uh, as loose a mess as Skull Smasher, or Skull Cruncher, whatever, which, whatever they call him. Um, and the same with this, that their, their, their Quakes had been way less better quality than their Hardheads. I found it to be pretty much the exact opposite. My Hardhead isn't it loose per se, but this guy's beautiful. Yeah. Now, Hardhead, I did know who that was, obviously. Um, and when this figure came out, this was, I think this was the first um, Titans Return guy I owned. Or did I, no, actually, that's not true. I bought them, I bought the first wave all in one go. But he was the first one open, certainly. Um, and I was, like, so surprised just as to how good this was, both in fan service, in quality, in design, in the way they've updated the character and stuff. It, it just, it just, impressed me all round. Um yeah so he was like he was a, a jumping off point for me for Titan's Return and it was like oh he's so fucking awesome. Um and then I bought this guy, Quake, as a sort of no I think I was where was I? I think I was staying at my folks through the bad times recently and he was in he was in Asda um for like I'm sure it was like eighteen quid and I was like ugh don't pay that but you can get your fixes where you can. Um and then I got him home and I was like oh that head sculpt is like, I can't really see because the light's not very good, but that head sculpt's awesome! And the purple, which, it shows up better on, I'll try and get it in the light, it shows up better on, like, f like a photo with a flash on, but that colour is absolutely beautiful. Such a lovely burgundy purple. Um, and the changes to the colour scheme and the head are enough for me not to see it as just another repaint, it's just, and it is just another repaint, but uh, side by, even side by side I'm not like, ooh, I've just spent the money on the same thing twice. And like I said, the quality and his joints and stuff are absolutely lovely, so I was happy with him. And again, side by side, there's enough... I mean, the, 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 the differences are so, like, glaringly obvious that it's... I'm not like, oh, it's just another repaint. Plus, it's a crocodile transformer. How many of them do you get? Fucking, that's awesome. This guy blew my mind as well. Um, although his legs... I mean, he got a, they're not too bad now, but I've used um, polish, like, nail polishing things on his ball joints loads of times and he still has a hard time standing up whereas this guy while the joints are light they're not loose um, and that's the difference because sometimes you get a figure and, you, and he, when you pick up he goes Meh. you're like oh my god he's so loose and, and he's, he's gonna fall down but it's no it's just the joints are soft rather than, than shite sometimes you find but yeah look at that ridiculously mental head sculpt the pink bit with the, with the bright luminous Bloody plastic! Oh, it's just a feast on the eyes. Some figures are just fun, I think, um, and that's what I like. If it's just, I like ridiculous figures. I like stupid. Like you look at them and you think, oh, why did they even make that? Sometimes I can get a lot of pleasure out of the kind of toys. So, and this was one of them as well. Um, yeah. So again, I wasn't even bothered about spending decent money on a repaint, which was surprising because I have been in the past. 
yeah, so I just want to, I want to make a, vis a video about something positive rather than like redirect my negative emotions to something positive. Let's see, what else can I talk about? I'll tell you what I'll talk about. This guy, um, I did a video on him uh, recently, like what, like three, four weeks ago, three weeks ago, can't remember now. Just sort of saying how good it was, and uh, like I said, I was going through the, that was the, the the height of the rough time for me recently. So um, the video was a bit shaky, and me like not really concentrating. I have had this guy by my side pretty much since I bought him, and since I got back home and stuff. It's the Voyager class. Um, a lot of the photos I've been taking, people are like, "Oh, he's amazing! It's leader class." And it's no, that's how good it is. Um, this this toy that for a movie figure to be this good. <sighs> It's literally a case of, I mean, I got him when he was on the cheap in Ar Argos. I, can't, I like, literally can't remember how much I paid. It was either 22 quid or it was 18 quid. I can't remember. Um, it was, I should watch the video back here. But it was dirt cheap. And um, it's just fantastic. This is, this is easily, easily in my top five Transformers that I own now. Um, yeah, so if you can get a hold of him, because I've, I've heard people are kind of having trouble getting a hold of him, do it. Because this this will not disappoint you in any way, shape or form. And it might even, if, it, if you're not really into buying movie toys, this guy might be the one that convinces you to do it. Yeah, right, there you go, seven minutes of me waffling. Uh, I'll do a review again for my next video, likely, when I buy something, if it's not some shitty fucking eBay purchase with a guy ripped me off. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd do that wee. I liked my recent repaint pickups because they're good. Um, yeah, so I uh, hope you're all enjoying your week. Uh, I have been, to be honest. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I have to say it every time now. Um, yeah, hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you soon. Hey.